Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to find the surface area of triangle prisms. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to take notes with me for the first two pages and then you have a chance to try a problem on your own and at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so how do you find the surface area of a triangular prism? Well, to get better understanding of this, you need to look at the net of a triangular, uh, triangle prism. And so here's an example one on the first page. If you notice, a net consists of two triangles and then three rectangles. All right, so what you have to do is you have to find the area of the triangles and then find the area of, of the rectangles and then add them together. All right, so let's write down over here. So it's gonna be surface area is gonna equal, all right? So it's gonna be the area of the two triangles plus the three rectangles. All right, now keep that in mind as we look at our first problem here. And here we have a triangular prism. So again, we need to get the surface area. We need to get the, the two triangles plus the three rectangles. All right, now every type of problem is done a little bit differently, but take a look at this first one. So let's first focus just on the triangles. All right, so here we have one triangle here. And that's going to be the same as this triangle over here. All right, so those are the, the bases of the triangular prism. So what we have to do now is we have to find the area of one of them. So notice we have a base of four and a height of three. So it's going to be three times four. All right, I'm going to divide that by two. So three times four is 12, and 12 divided by two is six. So the area of one of the triangles is going to be six square feet. But remember, we have two of them, right? So it's going to be six plus six. All right, so that's going to be 12 is going to be the surface area of the two bases. Now what I'm going to do to make this real obvious is I'm going to actually erase these lines and use a different color for the rectangles. All right, so now let's focus on the bottom part, which is right here. All right, if you notice, it kind of looks like a parallelogram, but to get the area of that part, it's going to be uh, length times width. So four times seven is 28. All right, so 28 is going to be added to the six plus six, but we have two more rectangles, right? So I'm going to, again, erase this and use a different color. And now let's focus on this part right here. All right, and to get the area of that top face, we do seven times five, which is 35. So that's gonna be plus 35. And then finally, I'm gonna erase this one more time. And now we need to get the last rectangle, which is right here. Now this one can be a little bit tricky uh, because we know that the, the length is three, but the question is, what is this over here? And notice this is the same as this, right? So I'm gonna put a seven here and three times seven gives us 21. So I'm gonna add 21 here, all right? And finally, when I add six plus six plus 28 plus 35 plus 21, we get a total of 96 and it's gonna be square feet. And there's the surface area of the triangular prism. All right, so we gotta remember to get the surface area, it's the area of the two triangles plus the area of the three rectangles. And then you carefully add them together and there it is. All right, so why don't you pause the video and, and try the your turn now problem. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's how you do with this practice problem. So again, here you have another triangular prism. And again, I try to make this as colorful as I can. So again, to get the surface area, it's twice the area of, of the triangles plus the, the area of the three rectangles. And what I did is I tried to color coordinate this. So notice that the base is here, we have triangles, right? So the area of one of the triangles was six, but because we have two of them, right? Six plus six, that'll, that'll give us the 12 which is the area of the bases. Now let's focus on the sides here, all right? So if you notice, to get the area of the side right here, okay, it's gonna be 15 times five, which is 75. And notice that the kind of the right-hand side is the same as left-hand side, 
So they both had the same area, the, the left face and the right hand face. So that's 75 plus 75. And then finally we have the bottom, uh, which is the area is gonna be 15 times four, which is 60. And then finally we add up all the sides, so six plus six plus 75 plus 75 plus 60, you get a total surface area of 222 square centimeters. All right, so the big thing you have to remember about this <clears throat> is it's the area of twice the triangles plus the area of the three uh, different rectangles that you add together. All right, how'd you do?